Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance now let's do today's relaxing breathing exercise That was so relaxing. Let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Dan, I saw you giving your food away to a little kid. Yes, I had some extra and I decided to be generous. I could also tell you were willing to give it to her. Of course, I love showing my kindness to others. It's the best part of my day. I think I'm going to give being generous a try. You totally should. See, see you tomorrow, tomorrow on word, word of the day. day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots. In today's history, on December 6, 2006, NASA released images taken by Mars Global Surveyor that showed Mars on Mars. NASA is an agency that controls space and science and exploration. They are the reason why we know so much about space. Mars, also known as the Red Planet, is the fourth planet from the Sun and is one of the most explored bodies in our solar system. Have you ever wondered why this planet is so red? Well, there's a lot of iron on Mars, and when exposed to elements, they turn red. Wow, maybe one day I could travel to Mars and see the water in person. Now let's see what's cooking with Alexander. Thank you, Melanie. Today's lunch is taco beef nachos, two cheese sandwich, black beans, pineapples, and your kiss of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is strawberry banana yogurt, graham crackers, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, assorted cereal, and your kiss of milk. Students, keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and always remember to bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Alexander. Super Patriots, this Cortis Instructional Software Challenge is coming to an end in 17 days. All of you still have plenty of time to get those lessons done. Just get into the right mindset and you're sure to make the challenge. Look at the flyer to see what is required. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. NWEA winter testing is still going on. Today, second and third graders are taking their NWEA math test. Take a look at the testing schedule to see when it's your time to test. Good luck, second and third grade. If you haven't started signing up for our Epic Sports Fun Day plus Color Run fundraiser, now is the time. Tell your parents to register you so you can participate in the sports stations. And to participate in the Color Run, raise $30. Use the description below to register. This is sure to be a fun day. And as for a student government update, today students will give their presentations to their class and a vote on forms will take place and tomorrow the winners will be announced. Good luck, Patriots. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning till 7.55. Time to spend all of those Patriot dollars. Tomorrow is fifth and sixth graders turn to buy some cool items at the Patriot store. Make sure to bring your tickets. I've loved seeing all your amazing holiday outfits, Patriots. So let's keep participating in this month's fun holiday activities. Tomorrow, December 6th, write someone a nice holiday card. Calling all 3rd through 8th graders. If you ever wanted to be on the morning announcements, you have today and tomorrow left to sign up. If you want to participate in our new game show segment, make sure to sign up. If you're interested, sign up outside room 200. Congratulations to our JV Boys basketball team. 
And a big congratulations to the new 2022-2023 boys varsity basketball team. I can't wait to see what you do this year. See Coach Bridges in the gym after school tomorrow from 3.30 to 3.45 for a brief meeting. Go Patriots! Sports fans, tomorrow is the final call for girls soccer tryouts. They'll be from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in the gym. You must have a complete grade paper, parent permission slip, sports packet, and your grades have to be a C or better, including behavior. Good luck to all of you that tried out. The Ugly Sweater Party is coming up, Patriots. It will be on December 16th from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. There will be music, food, games, and prizes. Make sure to pay before December 14th to come to this fun party. It's so great that so many middle school teachers are on the kickboard leaderboard this week. Let's take a look at our top 10. Now let's see what our weather looks like today with Sophia. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a bright 84 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies ahead. In other weather news, although rare, hail is something that happens in Florida. Just for context, hail is a solid form of precipitation. When hail does happen, here's a great way to protect your car. The hail bubble. If you've never seen one before, the hail bubble is an inflatable secure padding that goes over and covers your car. There are sizes for smaller cars all the way up to trucks and SUVs. Even though no damage isn't guaranteed, this definitely helps your chances. Now let's go to Nia for the birthdays. Thank you, Sophia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Nicholas Ike Escobar, Kalina Joseph, Trinessa Liberal, Corey Blackwood, and Courtney Maxey. Happy birthday, and let's go back to destiny. Thanks, Nia. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Soto, Ms. Stone, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Pardinez, Mr. Winselman, Ms. Imdane-Qua, Ms. Reynolds, Ms. Manon, Ms. Merkel, and Ms. Overa. You all had the correct response to Monday's daily challenge, which was, which is the only American state to begin with the letter P? The correct answer was Pennsylvania. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge! Which popular Christmas beverage is also called milk punch? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!